Hey guys, welcome back. I've had way too much caffeine today, so I'm gonna try and talk nice and slow so I make sense. It is going off today. As things stand, Zach has qualified for the CrossFit Games. Now, we're not gonna get too excited about this yet because you have to wait five weeks for the confirmation to come through. Once that comes through, I think we'll all go absolutely crazy. It also looks like he's probably qualified worldwide as well uh, because top person from every country and people go in teams. He's 28th in the world, I believe, which would make him scraping into there as well. So, mate, I knew you could do it. Just epic like i was gonna swear loads there but i won't because there's probably young people watching this but super proud of you well done mate can't wait to go to america uh and support you with the rest of the silverback team uh and film some bits as well uh having said that i'm gonna give zach some time to cool off um and then we can start to really nail down and pick our dates for the retreat or retreats next year uh because we'll know what sanctionals he's doing i almost forgot also as it stands Leon has unfortunately lost the open competition with Scott. Well, not unfortunately, because it's a mega tattoo to have. So he shall be getting a battle cancer tattoo. And there will be a video to follow of when he gets that. No! Stop it! Stop it! It's alright. No, all right. and don't touch me! Showing where he gets it, and hopefully Scott will be able to come down for it as well. It was super close. It came to like 100 points between them. So close. Uh, and it literally got one on the last workout. So, uh, mega. As you'll see, I've made some changes to the garage gym. I've got some new little bits in there that I got from Wolverson, which I will show you when we go and do a workout in a moment. Also, I finally studied that uh, and plastered with the back wall in the gym and blackboard painted it. Then I got a bit creative and thought that I would try and do a mural on there. So I did a massive Star Lord. Just traced it off my projector as you saw uh, but I think I'll get Rose to do some stuff because she's really good at that and it'll be way better than what I've done um, for me I had a great open like this is my first full year of training injury free still got the whole collarbone thing but it's not really stopping me doing anything uh, I've been on JST all year uh, last year I was 597th in the UK this year I'm 290th as things stand maybe a few more scores to come in so over 300 spaces better I had two top 100 scores with the deadlift in 0.3 and the ring muscle ups in 0.5 so over the moon with that Goal for me now is to get eight months of just getting really damn strong with a little sprinkling of fitness. Uh, and then as the next Open starts to come around and some competitions on the way, start hamming up my fitness. But my lowest score once again this year was 0.4, which was the heavy cleans, which, hey, that's what I struggle with. Hopefully, we're gonna get that 100 kilo clean, next, uh, clean snatch next year. That is the goal. Anyway, into today's vlog. Let's get busy. Hold that thought. We're not getting quite into the vlog yet because something slightly more important has come up. This little monkey needs some food. You hungry, Baba? Are you hungry? Are you hungry, Smiler? <laughs> Damn it, she's cute. Do you want to show everyone how good you are crawling? Woo! Daddy's camera, dirty fingers, yay! Okay, new additions to the home gym. I have the new Wolverson tactical weight vest that they very kindly sent through to me. So this is gifted. As you know, everything in my gym um, that I have bought or been gifted has come from Wolverson. Skierg I bought, even though it's not a, um, a Wolverson brand, I got it through them and they did me a solid and did it at cost, what it costs you to buy it from Skierg anyway, or from Concepts. This anyway is the new tactical vest. It's a little bit dark here. I might go over to the other side where it's a little better lit. There we go, that's better. Right, so what's a genius about this? Because weight vests can be super restrictive. The actual weight, weighted part that's in the front and the back of this isn't metal, like almost like a rubber top to it, which means when you bend forwards, it bends with you. Anyone that has um, done burpees in a weighted vest before, you know when the metal kind of like juds into your chest or sometimes even gets you in the neck, this one doesn't do it. It's got weight in the front and I'm trying to turn around and show you the back, I can't, and the back. Uh, and I'm a massive fan. I'm not going to do a workout in it today because after doing 80 ring muscle ups in the last couple of days from repeating 20.5 twice, uh, I shall not be doing that. But we will do some workouts in this on Instagram and on the YouTube very soon. Uh, I'll put a link in the description box so you guys can find it out. Right, 
opens out the way, so I've got to work on strength. This is a deload, do whatever the hell you want week for me, uh, to relax, recover, refresh before I start going to the next block of training. So today I'm feeling like a little bodybuilding sesh. I've not done one for a long time. Maybe a little bit of Armageddon, uh, my favorite arm workout, which is basically uh, get the 25 kilo dumbbells, do 10 reps of bench press, or dumbbell chest press, straight into 10 curls, and do that for 10 rounds, like German volume training mental pump, uh, get some good tunes on, and it's nice not to think too much about your workout. You haven't got to think about ring muscle ups, will you make it through a transition? What you've got to do is just get a bar and rep. Let's do it. I love these clips as well. They just say, shut it and lift. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I fit it up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I've been on a flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Getting real already. Boy, I got that, no fear none. My line busy, take no calls. Feels like I don't have no flaws. There you go, 13 minutes, 10 seconds. And you get yourself a big ass chest and bicep pump. Now, we do the same, but for the opposite muscles, the antagonist or the agonist, we go for rows and skull crushers. I love this workout. I am four rounds through uh, the rows and triceps. Pick the right weight for you. It gets really hard really fast. I'm using nine kilo dumbbells on the skull crushers. 30 minutes, that's all you need. That was hard, I'm not gonna lie. I had to drop the reps and the skull crushers in the last three sets. I did an eight, a 10, and an eight, I think, so. Yeah, so I had 22 and a half kilo dumbbells for the bench press and for the rows, nine for the um, skull crushers, and it's a 15 kilo bar plus 10 to 25 on the barbell curls. Give that a go. I, I actually think that's the best upper body workout just to have fun with, not really think too much about, but get a massive pump. And not that a pump is always associated with muscle growth, but with calories and the volume that you're doing in that set is gonna be pretty damn good for building some chest, some arms, no doubt. That is in fact my go-to upper body workout, it's fun. I just cr chest cramp then. Okay, workout done. Most of you will know that I'm not really eating meat at the moment, or, or very minimal amounts of meat. So I'm gonna make a protein shake. I've got some X Endurance chocolate protein. I've got some, who are our sponsors? I've got some Flahavans oats, which are my favorites, but you can use any old oats, really. Bananas, which are depressingly green. I only want one, but I really want a yellow one. And some ice cubes. These are actually my alcohol ice cubes. This one's like the shape of an atom, which is a uh, needless thing to say. That's all gonna go in with some water. Not using any oat milk, just water today. Um, and yeah, gains. And I thought, I ran out of chocolate protein, so I put half chocolate, half vanilla, and it works. A lot of you have been asking uh, myself, to, obviously me, a lot of you have been asking if I will do some videos on what I'm currently eating at the moment. I will do that. I'll do a video uh, in the next few days, in the next week or so, uh, showing you what I'm eating at the moment, because like I said, um, I've reduced the amount of meat I eat quite a lot. Uh, a lot to be honest just because I was eating tons before and my little girl as I said in the previous video uh, we're not going to give her meat until she's old enough to make a decision herself that's the way we feel about it um, I hope you enjoyed this video do give that workout a go it's a wicked pump uh, and it's one of my favorite ones you don't have to think about it too much just grab two weights and get going oh Leon showed up by the way we're now going to do a podcast so this is where I'm going to end this video what we're doing the podcast on today we're going to do a podcast on Dadakins What's Dadakins? I just went on Facebook and I was horrified because everyone was talking about this like what size 12, size 14 mannequin when it was in a female shop and I've just gone on Facebook and they're now doing ones of males with big, with bigger bellies and stuff and they're saying that this is the average size of males but do you know how much it's all been over the news? None! Because boys just keep their mouth shut all the time don't they? You we're think? Gonna, we're going to be that voice. You think? Yeah. Let's do it.